Hello and welcome to Postcard and Pines. I'm Rachel. I'm Wills. And today we're in Blackpool. But I've got to work. But I haven't, so I'm off to see what I can do on a day out of season in Blackpool. Let's see what he gets up to. Now, will that be a classic Blackpool experience, like a donkey ride or a coaster at the Pleasure Beach? Maybe he'll climb the famous Blackpool Tower or take an afternoon tea at the beautiful Tower Ballrooms. So is that what you'll be doing, Wills? Nope, I've been to the Pound Bakery Cafe for a bacon bath. Well, you're predictable if nothing else. And the sound on that last clip was dire. You might have found a bacon bath, but someone's forgotten their microphone today. Go on, show us round Blackpool then. There are your old traditional buildings of Blackpool and a few odd ones. I mean, really, would you want to get married there? So, Wills, are you going to ride the tram? Or are you going to grace a pier? Whatever it is, I'm sure you'll get up to some shenanigans. North Pier it is. Just watch out for that. Tram. Here we go. The North Pier was built in the 1860s and is the oldest and longest of the three in Blackpool. Where are you, Wills? I'm on the North Pier. Wish I was on the North Pier. Well, you're not. Get over it. Now, we knew that Sooty, that much-loved children's TV character from the 1960s, came from the North Pier, but we didn't know this. Take it away, Wills. I knew Sooty came from the North Pier, but I had no idea that Harry Corbett's brother, no, uncle, was Harry Ramsden's. Harry Ramsden's, the famous fish and chips chain started by Harry Ramsden. It's always food-related with you, Wills, isn't it? Right, more pier, please. The pier was intended for leisure, so those elegant Victorians could promenade out over the sea without distraction. Thanks, Eugenius Birch and Richard Freeman, for this splendid pier. Oh, look, it's Harry Corbett again. It's a bit chilly for an ice cream today. A closed carousel, the rusty back of the Joe Longthorn Theatre. Morecambe and Wise and all the greats who have played this theatre over the years roll on the summer so it can ring with laughter once again. In season, the North Pier is a hive of activity. That's a gin bar. That's a seat to drink your gin. In summer, it's banging. Sad times. We always have a go at one of these when we're together. Thanks for that lovely visit to the North Pier, Wills. The only thing to make it any better would be a drone shot. Thanks. And now, Captain Comedy reveals his source. Well, that was fun. Now, some people ask where I got my terrible jokes from. This is the Blackpool Comedy Carpet. The Comedy Carpet is one of the largest art installations in the UK. It pays homage to over a thousand British comedians. Unsurprisingly, Wills isn't one of them. He did take this lovely drone footage of it, though. Well done, Wills. Directly opposite the Comedy Carpet stands Blackpool's most famous landmark, the Blackpool Tower. It opened in May 1894 and at that time was the tallest man-made structure in the British Empire. To be fair, it's still pretty impressive today. Sadly, the tower eye at the top was closed. So, what are you going to get up to next then, Wills? Looks like the tide's going out. I think we'll go for a walk on the beach later. A trip into a microphone shop? Not high on your agenda then? You are not going into an arcade without me. How very dare you! If I catch you playing on the 2P Falls without me, there'll be words. It seems to be all pirates in here. Let's throw in a pirate gag. How much does it cost for a pirate to get his ears pierced? A buccaneer. You see, I'm so much funnier. Hooray, he didn't play the 2P Falls. Now let's just see if he can get past the donuts and sweets without buying. It's touch and go. Ooh, a horse and carriage. Thank God he's got such a short attention span. There goes one. All those fun things to do, Wills. Looks like he's heading towards Central Pier. That's very pink. On to Central Pier, the second pier built in Blackpool. The Fun Pier. Today, home to these legends. And this one. Just come from a bit of a nosy on Central Pier. The Central Pier opened in 1868. Right from the start, this pier's focus was on fun. In its early years, this was mostly dancing facilities. Today you'll find lots of fair rides. Ooh, that looks fast. He wouldn't, would he? Not without me, surely. I'm on the flying bomb. I wish I was on the flying bomb. It looks very fast and twisty. Hmm, you know what? I'm 
quite glad I'm not on the Flying Bob. Your review, Wills. Blimey, that was a bit fierce. Ooh. Absolutely brilliant as always. Tell you what, I've just been on that Flying Bob. I know it was fast. My eyes are watering. This pier does have a lot to see and do, like fortune tellers. A pirate bar, as well as stunning views both south and north. With all these stalls and attractions, we do often find this one really busy in summer. Thanks, Central Pier. Now off to South Pier. Uh, someone's getting confident with their talking this video. I love these B&Bs. Some are great, but some of them are I died. I love how they're named after people like Craig or Don. I love Sir Craig and Don, I think. Actually, you Welsh dipwad, Craig or Don is actually a suburb of Llandidno. You know, near where we live. Tragic. Go on, offend people further. Lynn Dean. Do you think it's owned by Lynn and Dean? To be fair, I can't find any origin of the name of this one, so you may well be right. But since you seem to have found your inner Judith Chalmers, tell us about your walk down the front if you would be so kind. Walk between each pier is probably about 15 minutes. It takes about half an hour, 40 minutes if you're walking slow to walk from north to south pier, or vice versa. Cheers for that, Judith. Loving your information. Oh, hang on, she's on a roll, here she goes again. One thing you may or may not know about Blackpool is just famous for its lights or illuminations. And they normally run here between, I think it's September and January, and they're basically a display of lights all the way down the Golden Mile, which is what these are part of. Uh, we do actually have another video, if you're interested, where we show the, with the, uh, the illuminations. So check it out, in fact, it's a, a pretty good video about all of Blackpool. So make sure you go back and watch it after this. Cheers, Judith. A lovely bit of self-promotion too. Lovely. Wow, what's that? Turns out Blackpool Seafront is an excellent place to play with your remote-controlled car. Now an uninteresting music fact, if you please, Judith. Down that road behind me, there's a really cool music venue called the Waterloo Bar. We visited it in our last, well not our last, but our first Blackpool video. So do check it out, as I said before. Uh, it's a really cool venue. I wouldn't know if I didn't go. Now come on, I'm stuck in work and feeling the need for another pier. Are you there yet? Nearly there. Excellent. Ooh, I see the Pleasure Beach. The talk of the coast. Excellent entertainment there. Over to you, Judith. We're just coming up to the North Pier and the Pleasure Beach. Our Pleasure Beach isn't open today, unfortunately. Not that it's time to go on it anyway, but we do have a video of the Pleasure Beach, so check that out. Judith Chalmers would never have got that one wrong. That's a South Pier, you numpty. I will have to change your name back to Wills, but I have to say you're doing a sterling job flying solo today, lad. Right, let's go have a look at the South Pier. Anything to say about that, Rach? I wish I was at the South Pier. But you're not, so suck it up, Buttercup, and enjoy Wacky Wills' grand day out. The South Pier, originally known as the Victoria Pier, is the youngest of the three piers in Blackpool. Opening in 1893, it was supposed to be the upmarket pier. How is it looking today, Wills? It doesn't seem particularly open. It is March, lad. Give them a break. Mmm, fudge and sausage! I'd kill for a sausage over in work now. Right, Will, some insights of the South Pier, please. The South Pier might not particularly be open at the end of March, but it does have beautiful views of the beach. It certainly does. We captured one of the best sunsets we've ever seen from here. Check it out, here, and in our other Blackpool video. It's definitely a self-promotion day. The views from here really are amazing. Look at that, it's a big one. Yep, you also get the best views of the Pleasure Beach and our favourite coaster, the big one. That last clip was from our other video too. Now, how are you feeling, Wills? Much as I'm enjoying a wander around Blackpool on my own, I am missing Rachel not being here with us. I'm missing not being there too. I think as peers go, the North and the Central are probably my favourite, but this one definitely has the best views. I totally agree. Be careful with your drone, Wills. Those gulls are looking mighty hoffity puffity. Let's go have a little nosy on the beach and under the pier. Oh, the weather seems to be picking up. It was from this exact spot that we saw our divine sunset last year. I can't resist another clip. The weather was decidedly better that day, though. This is pretty cool, isn't it? Love being underneath the pier. Look at that. Wish I was under the pier. Will you stop butting in and get back to work? This is Will's grand day out, not yours. Get him power walking back up the beach. Ah, you've sped up the film. Crafty that. Crafty. I still wish I was there though. Black 
Liverpool certainly does have the most beautiful beach. It might get a lot of bad press for looking run down and being past its prime, but you cannot take away this natural beauty that sits right alongside the promenade. The Victorians certainly made it their holiday destination of choice for a reason. Now, have you enjoyed yourself, Wills? Well, that was a fun walk. I've just walked from South Pier to North Pier along the beach. About half an hour, 35 minutes, something like that. Just made a walking video, or at least I think I have. If it's come out okay, probably release that on Friday or something. But I have to say, the beach here is beautiful. It's clean, it's vast, it's a really nice beach. Uh, I just said that before. How's about you do something useful? How long have you got left? Well, I've still got three hours yet before I meet Rachel, so I'm not quite sure what to do now. I think I'm going to go on the tram in about an hour's time. I think I'll sit on the beach and get the drone out for a little bit. Watch out for those gulls! Well, that wasn't particularly successful because every time I flew the drone, there were a couple of seagulls which had their eye on it. And also, I think uh, I think the height was restricted as well because there's a lot of low-flying planes over the beach here. And I got a bit scared, to be honest. I'm still not particularly confident with the drone. But I've also got soaking wet feet for walking on the beach and I'm starving. So I'm going to go find myself somewhere to eat. See you later. Oh, are you going to go for the most famous fish and chips at Harry Ramsden's? Best in Blackpool? Of course you're not. I give up. I just popped to Hounds Hill Shopping Precinct to have a wee and a Burger King and I'm going to jump on the uh, Heritage Tram. Should be a laugh. Finally, he's doing something classic Blackpool. The Blackpool Tramway is one of the oldest electric tramways in the world. The line dates back to 1885. Most services on the line are now operated by a fleet of modern trams, but on some weekdays, weekends and bank holidays, it's still possible to ride the heritage trams along the prom. The journey takes about an hour and takes you north to Bispham, then south to the Pleasure Beach and then returns north to drop you off at the North Pier. It only costs £6, so a lovely way to while away an hour. The tram Wills is riding today is a balloon car. 27 cars in total were built by English Electric between 1934 and 1935. This one is number 717 from 1934. What a lovely way to spend an afternoon, staring out to sea, watching the world go by, riding one of only a few tramways in the world to still use double-decker trams. What do you think of it so far, Wills? I have to say, it does look like fun. If you come to Blackpool during the illuminations, you'll see some of the old trams that have been rebuilt as illuminated themed cars. Here's a clip of the famous Western train tram. How beautiful. Time for the last bit. Down to the Pleasure Beach. Admire our favourite roller coaster, then round in a circle to head back north. Time for Wills to pick up one last joke. Then it's a drop off by the North Pier. How was that then, Wills? Well, that was great fun going up down the prom on the tram, all the way down that way and all the way up to the Pleasure Beach and back. But it's raining and I've still got an hour to kill before we meet Rachel. What to do when it's raining in Blackpool? Pop into the arcades? Wish you were back on the tram. Visit the dungeons or Sea Life Centre. Let's check back with Wills. This isn't fun now. I think we'll go and try and find a bar. Unsurprising. And it looks like you've chosen the most unpopular bar in Blackpool. Cheers. Still wish I was there though. Well, that was a nice little refreshment stop in the Rose and Brown. I've still got 20 minutes left before I meet Rachel, so let's go and carry on wandering around in the rain. Blackpool in the rain in March. Last time we were here, we went to Cafe Meow to get our cat fix. Highly recommended. The horror cafe's open? No? Look at that, it's even raining up out of the ground. Work's all finished, it's time to meet up. Cheers, Blackpool.
Well, we've just met up and it's time to go home. I've finished work, it's been a long day, but we're going to go watch the F1 mm. and have a pint. I can't wait to hear all about his day. We're back and didn't he do well flying solo? Did you enjoy yourself? I had a lovely time, yeah. Mm. It was good for the old step count as well. I think I notched up about 20,000 oh, steps, something oh. like that. I was a bit jealous of the heritage tram. I've never done that before. I have. I'd really love to do that. So next time we're there together... I think we'll be riding the Heritage Tram. Definitely will, definitely will. And big apologies about the crap sound on <laughs> on my talkie What's bits. What's your job again? I know, I know. <laughs> I forgot the mic. Well, I'd, I'd had the mic. It just wasn't working properly. No. That's my excuse anyway. And also, I mentioned about our other Blackpool videos. We've got two other ones, yes, haven't we? Yes, we have. We? Um, one of them, the first one we did, quite an early one actually, it's all over Blackpool. It's the piers, it's the... It's, it's yeah. everything, covers everything. Yeah. And the other one is whether we're too old for the Pleasure Beach or not, isn't yeah. it? You don't have to talk these days, Judith, oh. don't you? <laughs> Another thing we've got as well, and some of you may have noticed, is we've started doing a few little quizzes. Mm. Um, we've now put them into a playlist. They're only two minutes long. We've only got three so far, but we want to build in the future. And a lot of you have said you enjoyed playing them. So now we're going to start putting them where they are together in the playlist. Yep. We'll slowly add to them. And yeah, if you've got two minutes of your time to while away and you want to the toilet. test your knowledge of the world. People don't watch videos on the toilet. We do. <laughs> Anyway, if you like this video, if you would press the like button, that would oh, be great. Oh, and if you could subscribe, that would be lovely. That would be lovely. Drop us a comment. Do you think old Judith did well here on his uh, trip around Blackpool on his own? But there's nothing left to say except for... Cheers, cheers to, to the, the good, good times! times. Knock, knock. Who's there? Woo. Woo-hoo. Don't get too excited. It was only Blackpool. Oh.